Tonight, the first pope from the Americas is in the United States for the first time in his life. Late today, the leader of the world's 1.2 billion Catholics arrived outside Washington for a five-day visit that will include the first papal address to Congress. Pope Francis didn't speak at the airport, but we talked to him shortly before he left Rome. The Vatican invited 60 minutes to have a word. We wanted to talk to the Pope about his trip and his recently declared year of mercy, but we found the Pope keeps his plans under his hat. What is your goal for America? Sus objetivos para Estados Unidos. Encontrar a gente y encontrarme con ellos. To meet people, he told us, just to meet with them. What can the faithful expect from the year of mercy? The mercy of God is so great, it will surprise us all. Will you speak of immigration and the dispossessed in America? I shall talk about what the Holy Spirit will inspire me to say. As we reached out with a parting gift, we were surprised to hear the one request made by a pilgrim before his first trip to the United States. Pray for me. Pray for me. I need it. The Pope's blessing will be conveyed onto millions of Americans this week, and Chip Reed is covering in Washington. On his first visit to the U.S., Pope Francis received a rare tarmac greeting from President Obama, Vice President Biden, and their families, and a group of schoolchildren bearing flowers. A thousand onlookers cheered and chanted his name. The Pope flew in from Cuba, which was a symbolic stop stemming from his role in normalizing relations between the communist country and the U.S. During a news conference on his plane, Pope Francis was asked if he would press the U.S. government to lift its trade embargo. My desire is that they end up with a good result, he said, but he said he did not have plans to specifically mention the issue while in Washington. Unlike most dignitaries who travel in limos or massive armored SUVs, the Pope left the airport in a modest fiat, waving to the crowd from the back seat, a boyish grin on his face. Arriving at the Vatican Embassy in Washington, known as the Nunciature, his home for the next two days, Pope Francis was greeted by children from local Catholic schools. Francis is 78 years old, but you'd never know it. His schedule in Washington is jam-packed. Tomorrow's highlights include a morning meeting at the White House with the President and an address to 15,000 guests on the South Lawn. That will be followed by a papal parade in the Pope Mobile. He'll also bless this tiny chapel at Catholic Charities, where we interviewed Monsignor John Ensler. Will that be a high point in your life? This is it, baby. This is, I mean, for all of us who are who are part of Catholic Charities, this is going to be our high point. No, a pope coming to Catholic Charities, a pope would visit us. Um, you know, it, it is a complete over-the-top experience. Later this week, Pope Francis will fly to New York City where he'll address the United Nations. And Scott, a senior Vatican official tells CBS News that one key topic will be the global outbreak of violent conflict, which Francis has compared to World War III being fought piece by piece. Chip Reed in Washington. Thanks, Chip.